I didn't sneeze. In the early 1940s, Hollywood buzzed with excitement over the production of the wartime drama Air Raid Wardens. This classic brought together an ensemble of talented actors who perfectly fit their respective roles through a series of thorough auditions and clever casting decisions. The leading lady, Joan Davis, had already made a name for herself in comedy films when she was offered the part. Her comedic talents were undeniable, making her an ideal choice to play a warden alongside her real-life husband, Sigourden. Their on-screen chemistry was evident, having worked together before, which added authenticity to their portrayal of a married couple turned air raid wardens. For the role of Dan McCabe, the producers sought a seasoned actor with both dramatic and humorous abilities. They found their man in Edgar Buchanan, known for his work in various Western productions. His unique blend of humor and depth proved to be exactly what the character required, allowing him to shine throughout the movie. Supporting actors like William B. Davidson and George Chandler went through rigorous screen tests to demonstrate their compatibility with fellow cast members. Their shared experiences and camaraderie off-camera translated seamlessly onto the silver screen, enriching the overall viewing experience. One notable instance during casting involved the discovery of young Martha O'Driscoll, whose innocent charm caught the eye of studio executives. Although new to acting, she secured the role of Sally after several successful auditions, demonstrating natural talent and potential. As the pieces came together, each member contributed their individual strengths to create a harmonious whole. From Davis's impeccable timing to Buchanan's subtle emotional delivery, every performance struck just the right note. Even amidst the chaos of wartime America, they managed to capture hearts across the nation, solidifying Air Raid Wardens as a timeless favorite among cinema lovers then and now. The 1943 movie, Air Raid Wardens, was brought to life by director Edward Sedgwick. Known for his work in comedy and adventure genres, Sedgwick adopted a unique approach to this film. He focused on the everyday heroes who emerged during the war, showcasing their bravery and resilience. Sedgwick's creative influences were diverse. He drew inspiration from the real-life stories of civilian volunteers who joined the Air Raid Warden Service. This is reflected in the film's authenticity and relatable characters. The director's style was characterized by a blend of humor and drama. He used comedy to lighten the tense wartime atmosphere, making the film more accessible to a wider audience. This balance was achieved through careful collaboration with the cast and crew. Sedgwick worked closely with the actors, guiding their performances to ensure authenticity. He created an environment that allowed for improvisation, encouraging the cast to bring their own experiences to their roles. This collaborative approach resulted in a genuine and engaging performance from the entire cast. The film's crew was also integral to its success. Sedgwick worked closely with the cinematographer, art director, and sound engineers to create a vivid portrayal of wartime life. The film's visual style, with its stark contrasts and dramatic lighting, mirrored the tension and uncertainty of the era. In conclusion, Edward Sedgwick's directorial vision for Air Raid Wardens was deeply rooted in reality. His creative influences, collaborative style, and commitment to authenticity resulted in a film that resonates with viewers even today. Let's talk about the 1943 movie, Air Raid Wardens. This comedy follows the story of two everyday men who become Air Raid Wardens during World War II. They quickly realize their new roles come with great responsibility, leading to plenty of humorous moments throughout the film. One standout scene occurs when our unlikely heroes must navigate a chaotic city under attack. Their determination to protect their community provides some hilarious yet heartwarming results. Among the talented cast members, William Bendix shines bright as a dedicated warden trying his best in challenging circumstances. His performance adds depth and charm to the overall narrative. As we dive deeper into this classic, prepare yourself for surprising facts and trivia. Did you know that several scenes were actually filmed inside real air raid shelters? And get ready for emotional twists too. Certain events might even bring tears to your eyes. Now it's your turn. Tell us about your most memorable moment while watching Air Raid Wardens or share any treasured experiences connected to this movie. We would love to hear your stories in the comments below. In the early 1940s, America found itself engaged in World War II, 
and Hollywood was quick to respond with films reflecting the times. One such film was Air Raid Wardens, released in 1943. This classic war comedy required careful planning and execution, especially when it came to set design and location scouting. The film's storyline centered around two bumbling friends who become air raid wardens in their small town. To create the perfect setting, the production team built elaborate sets mimicking a typical American neighborhood. They paid meticulous attention to detail, ensuring every house had its unique character while still fitting within the overall aesthetic. However, constructing these detailed sets also presented several logistical challenges. Space constraints often made it difficult to accommodate large equipment necessary for filming. Additionally, maintaining historical accuracy added another layer of complexity. Props, costumes, and even language used in the dialogue had to align with the era depicted. One notable aspect of Air Raid Wardens was the employment of then-innovative sound technology. Sound engineers used directional microphones to capture dialogues more clearly, reducing background noise significantly. This technique allowed actors to deliver lines naturally without shouting over ambient sounds, enhancing viewer experience. Despite the intricacies involved, the crew managed to complete the project efficiently, thanks to effective communication and strategic problem solving. Despite being produced amidst wartime restrictions, Air Raid Warden stands out for its humor, relatable characters, and impressive production quality. In 1943, Hollywood released Air Raid Wardens, a comedy drama featuring a star-studded cast including Ray Milland, Laura Hayden, and Dennis Morgan. Set during World War II, the story revolves around two everyday men transformed into Air Raid Wardens after enlisting to protect their community from potential enemy attacks. This film provides valuable insights into the era's societal expectations, patriotism, and the role of ordinary citizens on the home front. Directed by Edward Sedgwick, Known for his work on several Buster Keaton films, Air Raid Wardens delivers light-hearted moments amidst wartime tension. With its fast-paced dialogue and situational humor, audiences can appreciate how the film balances gravity and joviality while addressing themes relevant to its historical setting. Ray Melalane plays Alan Carlton, a successful businessman turned reluctant Air Raid Warden alongside his best friend, Dan together, they undergo training exercises and nighttime patrols to safeguard their neighborhood against possible air raids. Alongside these duties, both men navigate romantic entanglements further complicated by the war efforts. Laura Hayden portrays Ann Terry, initially dismissive, but eventually supportive of her suitor's new responsibilities. Her character evolves throughout the movie, providing depth beyond her initial introduction as merely love interest material. She becomes instrumental in rallying support among female volunteers, demonstrating solidarity and resilience often associated with women's roles during times of conflict. The cinematography reflects the period accurately, offering glimpses of American life during World War II. From clothing styles to interior design, every detail adds authenticity to the narrative. Moreover, scenes showing civil defense drills, blackouts, and rationing highlight the sacrifices made by civilians on the home front. Despite being nearly 80 years old, Air Raid Wardens remains engaging due largely to its timeless exploration of camaraderie, sacrifice, and romance. While certain aspects may feel dated, overall, it stands testament to the power of cinema in capturing snapshots of our collective past. Whether you're interested in classic movies, military history, or just looking for something different, give Air Raid Wardens a try. You see, he was with the Air Raid Wardens. Then so they, what? He's with the he Air... Oh! Come on. In the 1943 movie Air Raid Wardens, the score and soundtrack play a crucial role in enhancing the narrative and emotional tone. The music, composed by Sammy Fain, sets the mood for this classic film about civilian volunteers during World War II. Fain's compositions create a sense of urgency and camaraderie, reflecting the film's themes of unity and resilience. The score features bold brass and rhythmic percussion, emphasizing the dramatic tension and the character's determination. The soundtrack includes popular songs of the era, which further immerses the audience in the 1940s setting. Collaborating with Fane, lyricist Ralph Freed penned words for memorable tunes like Coming In on a Wing and A Prayer. This song, performed by the Ink Spots, became a hit and a symbol of hope during wartime. The film's music not only complements the storyline but also stands as a testament to the era's cultural spirit.
the musicians involved in creating the Air Raid Warden score and soundtrack brought Fane's compositions to life. Their skillful performances evoke the emotions and atmosphere of the film, contributing significantly to its overall impact. In this classic, the music serves as an essential storytelling tool, enhancing the audience's connection to the characters and their experiences. The score and soundtrack of Air Raid Wardens demonstrate the power of music in film, leaving a lasting impression on viewers even today. In 1943, the comedy duo Laurel and Hardy joined forces with Edgar Kennedy for the first time in over a decade in the film Air Raid Wardens. This classic was initially broadcast on television in various cities across the United States, starting from Los Angeles in May 1957 and ending in San Francisco in March 1959. Interestingly, Oliver Hardy had two previously lost solo films that were discovered. These were Gas and Air from 1923, co-starring Catherine Grant and another film from 1924, co-starring James Finlayson. The rediscovery of these films added to the rich history of early Hollywood cinema. In Air Raid Wardens, the comedy duo took on a more serious role, contributing to the war effort by playing characters who became Air Raid Wardens. This shift from their usual comedic roles showcased their versatility as actors and added depth to their filmography. And get that whistle out of your mouth. In the 1943 movie Air Raid Wardens, one of the most iconic scenes is when the main characters, Aldrich and Benny, first meet. The setting is a crowded air raid shelter, and the dimly lit space adds a sense of mystery and tension. The camera work is intimate, focusing on the characters' faces and body language as they strike up a conversation. Director Edward Sedgwick masterfully builds the chemistry between the two characters, using close-ups and thoughtful framing to emphasize their connection. The performances of Ray Milland, who plays Aldrich, and Martha Ray, who plays Binny, are genuine and engaging. Milland's charm and Ray's vivaciousness create a magnetic pull that draws the audience in. The cinematography in this scene is noteworthy, with the use of shadows and light to create a moody atmosphere. The camera angles are dynamic, capturing the urgency of the situation while also highlighting the blossoming romance. This memorable scene has a lasting impact on the audience as it sets the stage for the rest of the film. The connection between Aldrich and Benny becomes a cornerstone of the story, and their relationship is a source of comfort and resilience in the face of adversity. The filmmakers and actors were aware of the scene's significance. In an interview, Ray commented on the chemistry between her and Millane saying, We just clicked. It was easy to play off each other, and I think that really came across on screen. Sedgwick, too, recognized the power of the scene, stating, It's the heart of the film, and I knew it had to be just right. The success of this iconic scene is a testament to the collaborative efforts of the cast and crew who worked together to create a memorable moment in this classic film. Important announcement to make. Tomorrow afternoon, Major Scanlon of the United States Office of Civilian Defense. In 1943, Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy both in their early 50s, took on a significant role in the movie Air Raid Wardens. This film showcased their contribution to the war effort, highlighting areas outside of military service where individuals could make a difference. Interestingly, out of the many films they made together, 12 involved some form of animation. For instance, in Air Raid Wardens, animated talking recruitment posters were featured. This was not a new technique for the duo, as they had previously incorporated animation in films like Lucky Dog, Flying Elephants, and With Love and Hisses, among others. These animations ranged from flying stars and bees to stretching necks and talking animals, adding a unique touch to their comedy. Well, somebody did. Gentlemen. In 1943, the movie Air Raid Wardens brought home the realities of war for American audiences. This classic, set during World War II, follows two everyday men who become air raid wardens tasked with protecting their community from enemy attacks. The film resonated deeply with viewers, giving them a sense of purpose and unity during turbulent times. The story struck a chord with its audience, highlighting the importance of civilian participation in the war effort. By showing ordinary people taking up extraordinary responsibilities, the movie inspired many to get involved in various ways, like buying war bonds or volunteering for civil defense duties. Moreover, Air Raid Wardens played a significant role in shaping popular culture. Its portrayal of patriotic citizens and neighborhood camaraderie became a model for other films 
and media of the time. Even today, aspects of the movie continue to influence modern storytelling, reminding us of our collective strength during challenging periods. Discussions surrounding preparedness, courage, and shared sacrifice were common after viewings. As families gathered around the radio or went to local theaters, they engaged in conversations about the values presented in the film, fostering stronger communal ties. While delving into serious topics, Air Raid Wardens also offered moments of levity and humor, making it accessible and enjoyable for a wide range of audiences. Ultimately, this balance allowed the movie to strike a nerve with Americans, encouraging them to remain hopeful while facing adversity. Clear the area near the generator building. Surround the plant. Organize search parties. Will you take over here, Major? Sure. Come on, Charlie. In April of 1943, the United States had been engaged in the war for 16 months, while other countries fighting the Axis powers had been at war for over three years. It was during this time that the film Air Raid Wardens was released. The setting of the movie is left unidentifiable, with the Nazis' Mercury automobile featuring license plates where the word California has been deliberately blocked out. The film was later included in the MGM film Classic Puzzle series in 1976 and a 250-piece puzzle was created using a publicity still rather than an actual scene. The image features Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy seated in a demolished antique car that has no tires, only rims, with one back tire lying on the ground in the rear. This suggests that the picture is not a reflection of the actual movie scene, but rather a promotional material created for the film. Implant. That's where it is now. Start with the auxiliary police and fire. Air Raid Wardens, released in 1943, was a war-themed movie that received mixed reviews from critics. Some praised its patriotic message and fast-paced action, while others found the plot predictable and the characters one-dimensional. The film starred notable actors of the time, including Ginger Rogers and Raymond Massey. The New York Times, in a review by Bosley Crowther, criticized the film for its slight and obvious plot, but commended the spirited performances of the cast. On the other hand, Variety Magazine gave a more positive review, highlighting the film's top-notch production values and exciting action sequences. Despite the mixed reviews, Air Raid Wardens was a hit with audiences. It was one of the top-grossing films of the year, reflecting the public's interest in war-themed movies during that time. The film also received recognition in the form of an Academy Award nomination for Best Special Effects. Although it didn't win, the nomination was a testament to the film's technical achievements for the actors and filmmakers involved. The success of Air Raid Wardens was a significant milestone in their careers. It showcased their ability to handle serious drama and contribute to the war effort through entertainment. The film's enduring popularity among older audiences today is a testament to its lasting appeal. People want to stop this supply. This makes Huxton a defense area just the... In the making of Air Raid Wardens, civil defense representatives were present as advisors to ensure the portrayal of their organization remained positive. However, some cast members who appeared in studio records, like Jack Gardner, Milton Kibbe, and Rose Hobart, didn't make it to the final cut. Laurel and Hardy found this production particularly challenging. Having signed with MGM, they lost the creative control they enjoyed under Hal Roach. Previously, they could freely improvise and develop running gags throughout their films. But for Air Raid Wardens, their comedic input seemed limited. Two. What do we do now? Let's see. see. Burns on the face. In the making of Air Raid Wardens, the cast and crew faced many challenges. The film was produced during World War II, and the topic was quite serious. The production had to balance the gravity of the subject matter with the need to entertain. To achieve this, the team decided to incorporate humor into the script. This decision proved successful, as the film became a hit and is still remembered today. The film's leading lady, Laura Hildego, was a newcomer to the industry. She was nervous about her first major role, but the cast and crew welcomed her with open arms. Her co-star, John Wayne, took her under his wing and helped her navigate the set. Their chemistry on screen was undeniable, and it translated into a strong friendship off screen. The film's director, Edward Ludwig, was known for his meticulous attention to detail. He spent hours working with the cinematographer to ensure each shot was perfect. Despite the pressure, Ludwig remained calm and collected, inspiring the rest of the team to do the same. One of the most memorable scenes in the film was the air raid drill. The crew spent days preparing for the scene, building a replica of a city block, and filling it with extras. The scene required perfect timing and coordination, 
and the crew pulled it off without a hitch. Despite the challenges, the cast and crew of Air Raid Wardens remained dedicated to their work. They knew they were creating something special, and they were determined to see it through. Their hard work paid off, and the film became a classic, remembered for its humor, drama, and timely message. Let's go to the park and, and feed the birds. Better sitting in this alley. In Air Raid Wardens, the year 1942 holds significance as it marks the cutoff point for civilian vehicle production. With Millicent Norton driving one of the last Chrysler convertibles produced before the shift to military manufacturing. Meanwhile, Joe Yule's son, who plays a role in the film, would later find fame under a different name, Mickey Rooney. On a more specific note, eagle-eyed viewers might spot a distinctive 1942 Mercury, a two-door coupe used by spies in a pivotal scene. The 1943 movie, Air Raid Wardens, holds a significant place in film history. As a wartime drama, it showcased the importance of civilian participation in national defense, a theme that resonated with the audience of that era. The film was released at a time when the world was deeply engrossed in the throes of World War II, making it highly relevant and relatable to the masses. This classic pioneered the subgenre of home front dramas inspiring a host of similar films that explored the role of civilians during wartime. It was a departure from the traditional war films that focused on the battlefield, instead highlighting the courage and resilience of those on the home front. This shift in perspective was influential in shaping future filmmaking, particularly during times of conflict. Air Raid Wardens told the story of an ordinary man transformed into a warden, a role that required vigilance and courage in the face of potential danger. This narrative inspired subsequent works that focused on the transformation of ordinary people into heroes, a theme that continues to be popular in modern cinema. The film's impact extended beyond its immediate influence on wartime dramas. It also contributed to the development of the disaster movie genre, with its depiction of large-scale emergencies and the collective efforts to overcome them. The movie's portrayal of air raid drills and the ensuing chaos was a precursor to the disaster movies of the 1970s and 1980s. In terms of performances, Air Raid Wardens featured a talented cast that included Hollywood legends like Ray Meland and Laura Hildenbrand. Their portrayals of the lead characters were nuanced and compelling, setting a high standard for future wartime dramas. The film's success was a testament to the power of ensemble casts, a technique that has been widely adopted in modern cinema. In conclusion, Air Raid Wardens left an indelible mark on film history. Its innovative portrayal of civilians during wartime, its influence on the disaster movie genre, and its high standard of acting have all contributed to its lasting legacy. This classic continues to inspire filmmakers and entertain audiences, making it a significant milestone in the world of cinema. And about us. That's right. Uh, pardon me, sir. Yes. I'm Mr. Hardy, and this is my partner, Mr. Laurel, and we are... In the small town of Huxton, the local magnesium plant plays a crucial role in the war effort. Though magnesium is highly flammable and can be used in both fireworks and incendiary bombs, the town takes pride in their contribution to the production of this valuable resource. During this time, Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy starred in two films produced by MGM, Air Raid Wardens being the first, followed by Nothing But Trouble. Despite its misleading title, Air Raid Wardens actually highlights various aspects of the U.S. civil defense program beyond just air raid protection. Established six months before America entered World War II, the Office of Civil Defense worked alongside the Department of the Army and set up citizen response teams similar to Britain's ARP, originally created due to German bombings during World War I and later expanded upon during World War II. Even Germany employed Zeppelin bombers as early as 1915, targeting English cities. Exploring these historical events, this classic delves deeper into civil defense strategies of the era. Be over in a little while. Okay. We're going to get helmets and everything. That's what he said. In the film Air Raid Wardens released in 1943, a tragic incident occurred during its production. The lead actress, Martha O'Driscoll, lost her husband, Arthur Miller, due to a fatal heart attack just two months after their wedding. He was only 31 years old. The sudden loss deeply affected O'Driscoll, but she continued working on the film to honor her late husband's memory. Despite the personal tragedy, O'Driscoll delivered a commendable performance in the movie, which tells the story of civilian volunteers who joined the air raid wardens during World War II. Time up, just like Mr. Norton. That's right. 
Did you know that the 1943 movie Air Raid Wardens was one of the first films to tackle the topic of civilian defense during wartime? This classic might have left a lasting impression on many of us who watched it. If so, we would love to hear about your personal connections to this film. Perhaps you remember watching Air Raid Wardens with family members when it first came out. Or maybe you discovered it later and found its portrayal of ordinary citizens stepping up to help in times of crisis inspiring. Whatever your experience may be, we want to encourage you to share your stories with our community. Think back to what drew you to this movie. Was it the star-studded cast featuring big names like Ray Meland and Laurel LaPlante? Or perhaps the gripping plot that kept you on the edge of your seat? We're eager to learn how this particular film has stayed with you over the years. By sharing your thoughts and memories here, you can help create meaningful conversations around classic cinema and inspire others to explore movies they might not have seen otherwise. So don't hesitate. Tell us about your favorite scene, character, or line from Air Raid Wardens and let us know why it resonated with you. And while you're at it, please consider engaging with our content by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Your support helps us continue curating thoughtful discussions about timeless films like this one. Let's keep the conversation going. Do you think we were wise giving Laurel...